For the better part of the last year, I've had clients and non-clients alike come to me and say, Jeff, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do to build my sales territory. I can't get face to face with my prospects and my customers. As if there was something you can say to your prospect face to face that you can't over the phone. Now, I mean, this has boggled my mind. And, and the, the idea that because you couldn't be physically in front of someone meant that you couldn't sell is just beyond me. So my advice to those people is to stop whining and start selling. And think about what you're trying to do. Think about what you're actually trying to accomplish and get rid of the myth that you have to spend money on somebody in order to get them to do business with you. Now let's think about that just for a second, right? As if the dinner that you bought that prospect was the actual reason that they bought you know, your solution. If that was the case, then that would mean that as soon as your competitor came and bought them a nicer dinner, they would take the business away. Now, we know that that is flawed logic. That's not the truth. So quit acting as if that's the case. You, selling is not something you can just reduce to an arms race of expense accounts. It's never been about the round of golf or the really nice steak or the really nice bottle of wine or the tickets to the ball game or anything else. Those experiences are utilized best when they create the context for a meaningful discussion, a meaningful discussion about the value you and only you can create for your prospect. But the key is the people who actually know how to sell, they don't need those face-to-face -face meetings in order to create that context, in order to have those conversations. Yes, those resources are really nice to have, but you don't need them. And as soon as you fall into the trap of thinking that sales is just all about relationships and that relationships are code for drinking buddies, you need to get rid of that myth. You need to call that what it is, a superstition and no longer state of the art for how business is done. You don't want that to be how business is done anyway. That doesn't only scales so far. And it might be a lot of fun to have uh, entertainment and great meals and great experiences on the company dime. But remember what your job is. So I want you to stop whining and start learning how to sell. And I want you to consider all the ways that those successful sellers, yes, the same ones who have been knocking it out of the park despite all of the restrictions and the hurdles and the headaches that COVID has presented us with over the past year. And I want you to think about how much better off they're going to be when face-to-face -face meetings become commonplace again. Because here's the thing, if you know how to sell when the chips are down, you really press the pedal to the metal when things get better again. So what can you do right now? There's still time to learn how to sell within these restrictions, even as the light at the end of the COVID tunnel becomes a lot closer and a lot brighter. I want you to think of supplementing those face-to-face -face calls with emails, with phone calls, with social media touches. Heck, maybe even throw some direct mail in there just for creativity and the ability to stand out. I want you to think about actually creating messaging that will stand out regardless of the medium in which you deliver it. I want you to stop pretending that your physical handshake has that much to do with the deal you're talking about doing. And I want you to imagine what it would be like if you brought real bona fide sales skills to those face-to-face -face meetings. COVID has exposed a lot of salespeople. I hope you're not one of them. And I'm going to give you an out here. Even if you are one of them, there is still time to develop your skills so that you can thrive, not only when we clear this pandemic, but the next time, because it seems to happen every 10 years or so, we have an economic downturn that makes everybody go crazy. Steal yourself and get ready. Be recession proof with your sales skills and watch how much you flourish when it's not a recession.